Hello fellow tank commanders and welcome back to another replay. Today we're going to be taking a look at a team battle. This is typically a 7 on 7 match. Uh, it can be played with less but it's not recommended. Um, each team typically fields uh, 5 tier 8 tanks and 2 tier 1s as their scout. This is just the standard setup. It can be varied a little bit but uh, usually this is what wins in tournaments so people typically go with this. Uh, today we've got a team I've fielded with a bunch of my friends, and um, I'd like to say that Sean Sean Destroyer joined us for this one as a random, uh, just because we were one man short for scouts. And other than that, uh, this is a pretty good team battle, and I'd like to show it off, starting up here. I, of course, am going to skip the uh, intro here and speed up to actually the action. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Now at the start here, we were uh, talking about tactics for a while, trying to figure out what we were going to do. It was determined that uh, we should probably have a tank destroyer guarding the valley. Uh, Snapper was originally going to fill the role, but the ISU is just better for such an item. Um, a little bit more uh, range to play with, and our scouts were heading that direction as well. So he decided, since he's got more frontal armor and less camo rating, that uh, he's going to go ahead and take up a different position and let me have this one. Personally, I would have rather had both tank destroyers here, but given the situation, you really don't know if they're going to try to engage in the town, if they're going to come down the road, so putting all your eggs in one basket usually means you're going to fail. Now this isn't the best position at the moment, and the reason being is because I don't know what's over the ridge, and if they rush, there's a chance I may not be ready. There's the reason right there. Now, due to the fact that he has spotted them, which he did a great job of doing, um, I now know that we at least are dealing with one of their heavies over here. So I'm repositioning to get myself behind the rock. The right side of the gun with this can stick around a little bit, it's kind of nice. Unfortunately, Sean Sean stuck his dick out. At this point, we do have Eric shifting over to try to help cover. Uh, Havoc as well is on his way. And Havoc's going to try to fill the role that Sean Sean left there. Um, Yeti is kind of useless in this position at the moment because we, we know they're there. There's no question about that. We don't need a spot anymore. So he's just going to make sure that they're not coming until Havoc can get into position. Most of your life as a tank destroyer is looking like this. Staring straight ahead, hoping something's coming. I always thought that was a weird tank. It's just kind of flat and round. Now again, all we've seen is a few heavies. We don't know if they've decided to reposition at this point. We haven't had contact for a while. So Eric is starting to worry a little bit and backs up just to make sure they're not going to go behind us. We're concerned about the road. We don't have real eyes on it. So considering the fact they haven't pushed their advantage, they're just going to be sitting or moving around is our thought. So again, we spot a scout. Eric's in the correct position now to engage it. But no need. Magunas picks it off.
Realizing we're out of position, they start to pull up. Whoa! Well, there's that. I've been spotted now. Eric smoothly enough got back in position. I'm still reloading. But I have a nice haul down position with this. That's two down. That was a very bad move. At the point where you know where the ISU is, if he's reloaded, you're going to lose half your tank guaranteed in these kind of fights. At this point, we've got him pinned. I know it. He knows it. The question is, where's their Ferdinand? They committed all their heavies here, but there is no Ferdinand. And it's still out there. Snapper picks off the other scout, and of course, Magunas happens to notice, look, our friend's coming down the road trying to flank us. Unfortunately, he didn't commit with his main attack. Not that it would make much of a difference in it considering this engagement. Eric decides to pull forward and finish the asshole off. Done. At this point, only thing left, bring the ISU, shoot a hole through it. Now, Snapper's an ace Ferdinand player. Um, I'd say it's probably one of his best tanks. He's not going to lose that. And there it is. I have to say that, uh, in hindsight, I think that ammo rack shot is really what uh, changed the course of the battle. And the reason why I can say that is because they were down a man... You know, an entire heavy tank before that tank could even do anything. And their French tank was short to follow. So anyways, hopefully this is a good replay. Um, as it is a team battle, I'm not going to bother posting up stats, just because it is what it is. And I've got some more team battles. Uh, it's a pretty fun game mode. And we'll be taking a look at uh, more tanks and more planet side shortly. See you guys.